Hello to all my lively ladies, you're very welcome back. My name is Trish and you're very welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we are going to do a low impact or moderate impact a cardio workout. So I'm just getting going here with a warm up. So if you're ready, come on in and join me and uh, just make sure you have your chair handy in case you need it for balance, maybe a towel and some water. Okay, so I'm just stepping back here, warming up the lower half, and I'm gonna start getting my arms moving too. So I'm just gonna get some triceps and shoulders. Okay, so warming up the upper half and the lower half. So just pushing back, now I'm not forcing my heel into the floor, I'm just stepping back on my toes here. Okay, just keeping the pressure off the Achilles tendon. Good, now push back and push back. Now, like I said, if you want to stick to low impact moves with this workout, that's fine. But if you want to bring up the intensity of the workout, you can actually add a little bit of moderate impact. So to it's totally up to you what you want to do with your workouts. Okay, let's do 10 more of these. Nine, eight, seven. You can go a bit faster now. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Let's just take it back to a march and I like to get the marches into the warm-up just to tell you that if you get confused with any of the moves just take it back to a basic march here rather than stopping altogether. Keep that heart rate up, keep that blood flowing around your body and join in when you feel like you're ready to join in again. Okay now let's crisscross in front. Good now by bringing the arms in we really are increasing that heart rate and we're getting our bodies nice and warm, keeping us safe throughout our workout. Good. And you can go slow or as fast as you like. That's it. Well done. Good. 10 seconds to go. Good. Keep reaching. Nice big long arm moves. Five seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Now we're going to go into a step touch. We have this coming up today, so I'm going to just get it going in the warm up because I know from experience it can be a little bit of a tricky move to get right. So all it is is it's just one foot coming in to meet um, the opposite foot. That's it. Now you can go faster as we get through our warm up. <sighs> Big deep breaths. Now get your breathing going if you haven't done so. And always in the warm up, start encouraging yourself to draw your abs into your spine. Okay, so engaging that core just pulling the belly button in towards your spine hold that contraction but try not to hold your breath all right it's a little bit of a, a skill there it takes time to learn that now let's double up here so it's the same thing except we're doing it twice good you might have to slow down if you're not used to it and just get your used to that move first just rest your hands on your hips we'll bring in some arms okay in a second Let's do two more doubles back to singles. One more. Now take it back to a single. Good, now bring in some arms. So just straight arms out to the side. This is our lateral shoulder press. Just bringing the move out to the side, working the middle of your shoulder. Go keep your posture nice and straight. Throughout the workout, I'll just remind you at intervals to do a posture check. Just making sure you're not slumping forward or looking at the ground. So look ahead, keep that head up held high, stand tall, that's it, nice and proud. Good, five seconds, four, three, we'll do some heel digs, two and one. So dig in the heel, that's it, slight bend in the knee. You can uh, drop your bum down a little bit lower if you don't have any knee problems. If you do, just stay up tall. So that slight bend of the knee there, starting to really work the quads here at the front and you might get a little bit more glute, your bum muscles coming in too. Good. And some bicep curls at the side or more hammer curls. That's it, 10 seconds, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now we're just gonna circle the arms, tap out the toes behind you. That's it. And we're just going to open up that chest. Wake up all these sleepy muscles. That's it, can you double up? Nice big circles with the arms. Watch any furniture behind you. That's good, and around. Well done, now opposite way. Now this is where you might start to slump forward with your shoulders going the opposite direction. But I want you to try and keep your shoulders away from your earlobes. 
good good work five seconds four three two and one okay now i'm going to start our timer keep going with a little march because i want you to keep your heart rate up right we're going to start off with step touch so that's that move that we just did in the warm-up okay so you start with that okay let's go step touch it across all right now because we've done a warm-up our heart rate's up got some blood circulating around the body you can take up the pace a little bit now again that's an option if you don't want to you go nice and slow slow down the move come up a little bit straighter so your knees are not taking on too much weight there bend a little bit a little bit deeper if you want to go a little bit faster now let's double it up in four three two and one so we're just going to go one and two one and two one and two good work we try and bring in some arms i know it's tricky with the double if you're finding that's too difficult just leave the arms out good work lift up try now remember to keep your posture upright good look forward well done let's do five more we'll take it back to singles let's leave the arms out now three more two more last one now back to singles good work well done keep going there now okay we're going to do some knee taps now we're going to bring our elbow to meet our knee but we're not going to bend too deeply at the waist so four three two and one so a knee tap here bring the elbow down but don't uh, bend too far forward good now really engage your core and feel the abs working here that's it lift you can go faster again bring the intensity up by bringing up speed well done good and you don't have to tap your knee with your elbow that that doesn't matter just bring your knee down sorry your elbow down to meet your knee good ten more we're going to switch legs that's it come on five four three two and one on other side straight into it if you can good chest is high good. well done keep that head up nice and high for me big deep breaths heart rates coming up working that standing leg good ten more nine eight seven six five we've got some modified lunges coming four three two and one do you remember these we did the first move in the warm-up okay so back to this not forcing our heel into the ground well done that's it good now if you want to you can add like a little jump um, in with the lunges here okay or you can keep it low impact so cross and cross and cross or keep it low impact let's sweep the arms back behind us sweep that's it good opening up that chest that's it well done this is great if you if you have rounded shoulders any move where you can open up that chest is great good work 10 more well done I'm gonna knee drive now one leg and then we will do the other leg okay five four three two one now hold it here now knee drive that's it this is a wonderful tummy exercise to keep your abs tight now so you really feel them working good draw those elbows down to your hips feel that standing leg working again good so it's kind of like the move we did a few minutes ago but just to the front good lift lift and lift good if you need help now balance go over to a wall four seconds three change legs two and one other side Whew, feeling that standing leg good our next move now is toy soldiers for ten then three squats okay I'll count you into it keep going with this one ten more nine eight seven six five four three two and one now toy soldiers remember this move kicking up kick now don't worry if you can't get too high here's fine all right you just work at your own pace there do what your own your flexibility will allow you lift and lift lift and lift good try and keep that chest high 
Good. Now we've got these squats coming up. So four, three, two, and one. Now three squats. Just one, two. Do mini squats if you have to. Three. And again, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Give me three squats. One, two, and three. Now let's do one more round of this. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We've got some lateral squats coming after this, or sorry, lateral steps. Two and three. Let's move over. So you have the option of just stepping it over, cross the knee, over to the other side. So crossing your body basically. Now, if you want to make it harder, you can just add a little hop across the room. I like the flow of the move with the hop. I'm going to stick to that one. But if you don't want to jump, you can just step it over. Good. Lift. Chest is high. Remember that good posture? Well done. Over. This is a nice, uh, nice move here. It gets the endorphins flowing. Lift up. Nice, fun move. Good. Let's do another four, three. We're going to march it out on this one. Take a moment here. Last one. Okay, now march it out. You might feel like you need to catch your breath at this stage. Big deep breaths in. Now, if you want to stay with marching, you can, but I want you to really bring those arms in for me and bring those knees up as much as you can. And if you want to bring a bit of moderate impact into it, you can add a little bit of a skip. Okay, belly buttons in. Shoulders are back and down away from the earlobes. Okay, pretend you have a rope, or if you actually own a rope, you can use it if you like here. That's it. Good. Now obviously the impact moves are going to bring the heart rate up a little bit higher. That's it, good. Take it back to a march if you feel like it's too much for you, and you can work between both of them. Good. Now our next move is knee raise with um, rainbow arms. Just forget that there for a moment. Knee raise first and then the rainbow arms coming across. Another great tummy exercise, standing abs. All right, let's go. Four, three, two, and one. I'm gonna get the knees going first. Let's get that move down. Now let's get these uh, rainbow arms. So that's it, good, lift and lift. Lift and lift, over and over, over and over. That's it, good, lift and lift. Good, you feel your tummy working? Reach right up to the ceiling. Nice straight body. Good work, over and over. Give me 10 more. We're gonna take it back to a moderate skip or a walk, whatever you like. Five, four, three, two, and one, okay, march it out. Take it to a skip. Well done, we're eight minutes in, just a little bit past eight minutes. Okay, got some sweat flowing, yeah? I do, even though it's quite cold here. It's the shortest day of the year as well, so it's quite dark. But we don't let these things get in the way of our training. That's it. We work out all year round, and that's what gets your results being consistent. Good. Okay, let's take it to a march. Now we're going to go back to step touch and repeat that again. All right, so you'll probably be more relaxed round two because you kind of have an idea what's coming up. All right, we'll get ready for step touch. Four, three, two, and go. So over and over, over and over. Now let's get arms going now. We're really warm now. I'm very warm now. So I feel like I can just keep adding on now. Good. And lift. I've bent my elbows a little bit here just to do a bent arm lateral raise. Okay, so, so I'm still hitting the middle of the shoulder, but in a different way. That's it. Good. Let's take it into doubles. Can you keep going with the arms? If it's too confusing, just rest your hands on your hips. It's more important the legs keep moving to keep that heart rate up for us and burn our calories and get your steps in. That's it. Good. Lift and lift. Now let's drop the arms. Keep going with your doubles. Give me four more and back to singles. That's it. Three more. 
two more last one now just take it back to single single that's it bring it back to the beginning work your way back well done let's get ready for knee taps four three two and one so it's more elbow to knee but if you can tap your knee without compromising your posture go ahead but you don't have to that's it and again you're keeping the heel up behind you there you're not forcing the heel into the ground keep it up that's good you don't want to be straining your achilles tendon can be five more we change four three two and one other side lift lift good work come on you can do this nice straight back for me stand tall stand proud well done keep going ten more nine eight seven six five get ready for modified lunges three two one now step back now you have an option here of adding a bit of impact so you can jump it jump it or another option is you can actually go down into an a, a lunge that'll uh, bring in a bit more intensity as well okay now open up that chest reach back good well done push those arms back for me good you're doing great we've got our knee drives coming up in ten nine knee drives to the front good seven six go faster five four or slow it down whatever you like three two and one drive that knee up that's it good lift lift good work you're looking great here working hard getting that heart rate up burning some calories well done let's go ten more change legs now after this nine eight seven six five four three two and one other side come on drive that knee up work those tummy muscles work your glutes you can feel your glutes working there yeah that's it ten nine eight toy soldiers are next six five four three two one okay ten and three squats that's it well done if you need a break pause the video pace the room and come back when you're ready six seven eight nine ten okay three squats now do mini squats like this if that's all you can do okay one that's fine that's great keep going five six seven eight nine ten okay one chest up two three i'm tucking my thumbs under my chin if you notice if you're wondering why i'm doing that it just encourages you to keep your chest upright good and i've lost count six seven eight nine ten got lateral steps after this one two three over to the side now step it or hop it knee crosses the body good knee crosses well done step it over if you want to slow down or you just don't want to add any impact to this workout good lots of choices that's it over and over four to go marching's next or walking or and light or moderate skipping moderate impact skipping one more good now march it out if you feel your heart rate's very high um, and you want to just drop it a bit take it back to a march okay big just basic moves if you want to keep going you're really getting into it now <laughs> skip it out so you can do light skipping hips going side to side knees going side to side everything's engaged abs quad muscles to protect the knees glutes to protect the lower back that's it shoulders slightly retracted not overly retracted good work We're very aware of what's happening in our body from head to toe well done 10 seconds good we didn't do our knee raise and uh, rainbow arms so i'll do that next four three two and one knee raise up up now rainbow arms that's it out to the side 
working those obliques reach up high good nice high arms well done keep going with a little over five minutes left keep pushing come on you can do this four more three two and one march it out just to take a moment step touching it now in 10 seconds nine eight seven six five four three this way two and one step touch it good now you should really have all the moves down by now that's it good this is what i love about repeating you kind of the brain can relax and you can really get into the workout but having said that it is good to challenge the brain when you're working out too let's double it up and over one and two and we forgot arms good if i ever forget arms you go ahead and bring them in that's it lifting and lifting lifting and lifting well done Ooh, getting really warm now let's leave out the arms keep going with the double step touch you can bend a bit deeper here now if you want to get more glutes if your knees will allow that good two more back to singles and singles good work well done now get ready for knee taps okay five seconds four three two and one and that's it when i say you need to you can tap it out if you want but i'm going to just bring the elbow in for a change today i'm squeezing here i'm squeezing my obliques so i'm getting a good contraction there of my abdominals and my obliques as well my twisting muscle uh, oblique uh, sorry ab muscles good lift and lift good squeeze it out lift that knee for me five seconds and we change four three two and one okay other side well done lift lift that knee come on lifting that knee really helps to work your tummy muscles from the bottom up good give me five more four modified lunges three two and one step behind you know add that hop or go into a deep lunge and um, if you want to add more intensity to the workout good sweep the arms back keep going come on not long left well done that's it open that chest big move for me five seconds good three two knee drive that's it drive that knee up come on stay with me i know you're probably fatiguing now but we're nearly there home stretch you can see that finish line up ahead come on keep going 10 seconds you can do this push push don't give up put that mental cap on screw it on tight three seconds two and one okay other leg that's it toy soldiers are next Whew. keep going come on push push straight spine five seconds four get ready for toy soldiers three two and one okay oh i'm tiring now lift lift now that's too high for you do down here you don't even have to touch your toe it doesn't matter if you don't get to your toe just touch your shin or your knee bend your knee slightly if you have to good lift six seven we're in a bit of squats nine ten go deep or just do a mini squat one two three good keep going come on push through this well done lift and lift lift and lift good six and seven eight nine ten i'm sure my counting's off <laughs> one two three last time come on ten nine eight seven six five four three two and one and one two three lateral can you remember what's coming up that's it good that shows you're really getting into your workout now you're focused good now take it into a stepping action if you don't want to um be jumping good work and over and over got some marching or light skipping next keep breathing get that air in i want you to last the whole workout 
Good. Two more. And last one. March it out. Or skip if you have to. Or if you want to. Well done. Side to side. Keep going. Nearly there now. 10 seconds. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Knee raise. Over. Over. Rainbow arms. That's it. Draw a rainbow for me. Good. Well done. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Okay, march it out. You are done. Well done. Okay. Oh, about 20 and a half minutes. We got through all of those exercises three times. My heart rate's up quite high. Again, I just eliminated the rest today. I just took the rest out. But that doesn't mean you have to. You can stop at intervals, pace the room, march, and take a little bit of rest. Okay, let's bring our heart rate down. I'm just gonna keep moving though. I'm gonna keep the legs moving. Just so the uh, blood pressure, heart rate drops a little bit. Big deep breaths. Let's step touch it, but just a, mo a modified version. Just slow and slow. Good. Feeling great after that workout. Feeling very, very energized now. I'm ready for another one. <laughs> okay. It's amazing how much energy you actually get from just getting up and moving, just for 20, 25 minutes. As long as you don't overdo it, um, you'll, you will feel much more like doing things each day, like motivated to exercise. But if you overdo it and you're constantly sore, it's going to just be very hard to show up for your workouts all the time. Okay, now let's stretch out our calf. Okay, so if you chose to do um, some of those moves high impact, it's a little bit challenging for the calf that, so good to stretch them out. But even if you've done low impact, stretch out your calves. That's it. Now what I'm doing here is I'm just pressing the heel into the floor here. I'm not putting too much pressure or force on it. Just stretching to the point of mild tension. Good. Well done. And the other side. That's it now again. If you have a mirror, it's great. It just You can see what your toes are doing. They should be facing to the front, not out left or right. So face the front. Imagine a clock face, and they're facing 12 o'clock, like it's 12 o'clock. That's it. And even when you fix them, they, they start to rotate. They do their own thing. But you feel that? It's much better stretch right in the belly of the calf. Good. Now, again, I'm just going through these stretches quickly. I do have a, a, a stretching video or cool down on my channel and um, there's a lot of exercises on it. Let's do our tummy stretches. Interlace the fingers and reach up. I just need to keep the videos here to about 25-30 minute mark. Good. Stretching out the waistline. Reach up. Good. And over. Abs are pulled in tight. And reach up. Now just hold it here. That's it. Well done. Now just open the legs slightly. Abs really tight now. Really don't start this stretch until you've engaged your muscles there in your tummy. And stretch it over. Reach it over. Good. Nice dynamic or ballistic type stretch for the torso. Good. Well done. And two more. And last one. Now open your legs wide. Now if you find this stretch is a uh, too challenging for you. You're going to reach down to the floor. Just You can try it by placing your hands on a couch, a kitchen chair, or if you can get a bit lower, you can try it on a, um, a stack of towels, coffee table. I have a little step there I find handy for these type of stretches if I'm feeling stiff some days. That's it. These winter months, it's hard. You're, uh, you're kind of, your body's cold and contracted a lot from the cold. So it's nice to do a stretching routine. Make sure your legs are straight there and there's no bend in the knee as much as you can. You've got to imagine that someone's pulling your knees back behind you on a string. That's it. Good work. Well done. Feel a lovely stretch in your groin area there, your inner thighs. 
and as you hold it you'll feel the tension wear off or you should unless you're extremely tight and that allows you to stretch a little bit further so you just take it in baby steps no, don't uh, jerk or force your muscles into stretches okay now if you can't if you can, can't jump it in just walk it in it's a hard one to get out of and i'd just like to say a big thank you for joining me today and i will see you back here really really soon bye bye